So now let's come to random mismatches. How do you take care of random mismatches? How do you ensure that random mismatches impact is minimized? Uh, sir, one, one, one way can be to select the VT of the devices carefully. Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, if we uh, like if we know that uh, I'm unable to put it into words, but I so you can like model the so let us say I chose a VT of 200 millivolts. What happens then? Dopant functionality fluctuality is told you can control that. So uh, sorry, Tana, Tana, what you were saying something about dopant fluctuations. How yes, do I manage sir. that? How do I reduce the impact of dopant fluctuations? Sir, like uh, you told that statistically doping them, statistically, then we can manage the doping. Hmm. But how do I design so that there is lesser impact? So, see, Raghav's question was, how do I model it? Your question is, how do I verify it? My question is, how do I design it? Design like what, sir? I'm not able to get the question. My question is, what should be the design guidelines? so that the impact of mis random mismatches is minimized. We discussed this in the last class. The model them statistically. Means... Model to a lag baat hai na, pehle design. Modeling is for verification talha. Hai na? Main keh raun, as a designer, what should be the thumb rule? There was one full slide on that topic to demonstrate that topic. You remember there was a slide on uh, the impact of variations uh, with technology scaling? Hello. What did you observe in that slide? Uh, so that impact increases as the technology scales down, um, hmm. but, but the impact remains same. So as we go down, uh, the percentage increases, like the proportion. Hmm. Because basically, you are decreasing the, but the effect remains same. So its effect is more pronounced in uh, thinner gates. Hmm. So now. Do you have the answer of how to design so that you have lesser impact? Long channels. Mm. Use long channel lengths. Use bigger devices. The more the area under your gate, the lesser is the impact of variations. Not because the variations don't exist. The variations will still exist. But just that you have changed the base. Just like in, in uh, you know plus minus 2 nanometer variation in a 28 nanometer technology is some impact. But plus minus 2 nanometer variation in a 40 nanometer technology has double the percentage impact and a much higher uh, electrical impact on in terms of variations. Hmm? Similarly, if you just increase the base, increase the, even though 28 nanometer is the minimum length that you could draw, let us say you draw 40 nanometer. So you are kind of emulating the previous technology's length. Hmm? And reducing the impact of variations now. In fact, that is one reason I, I actually did mention that in the, sense, in the sense amplifiers and in the SRAM cell, you almost never use the minimum length. Yes. Yeah, we talked about that. So for SRAM cell, it also helps in reducing subthreshold currents, uh, but you do not do it also primarily because you want to reduce the variations impact of variations. So now Raghav, coming to you the to the question that you asked, that, oh, there are these many, so many things, line edge roughness, gate oxide, uh, you know, the interface, uh, uh, interface roughness, and so many things. Uh, I do not see any, any of that in the model that I have. Yes, because all of those variations are clubbed into VT variations. Hmm? How is VT defined? Do you remember what is the industrial definition of VT that we talked about in DVD course?
so it was linked to the current only substantial current only mm, not substantial current we said vt we said vt is the current uh, vt is the voltage gate voltage uh, at which the current of 1 micron per 1 1 milliampere 1 microampere per micron width would flow from the gate from the device so all these things whether it is line edge roughness or interface roughness or uh, you know the range of things that we talked about they will lead to some change in current of the device so we model everything as variation in vt and mobility okay so sir at the very end i can i will only see the vt variation mobility variation but the source of that will not be i cannot locate it localize it right that from yes Yes. yes the models and, and as a designer do you need to localize it no sir i mean no the zarurat nahi hai why put in that extra effort and and add and and much more complexity in the device model finally you want the device the simulator to run fast is it not the more number of variables you ask it to calculate the more time the simulator will take so you have to keep the models as simple as, and synthetic as possible So, okay. so most of the, most of times the random variations are modeled using the VT variations, right? Yeah, VT and mobility variations. VT and mobility. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay. So now that we are talking about variations, anything else about uh, uh, mismatch or variations that you have questions about from the last session? Sir, uh, about the gate line that we were discussing just now. so sir if we uh, were supposed to use uh, 22 nanometer and we are using 45 nanometer then uh, i mean uh, it it's good to use 45 nanometer right then why to why to actually mention it as 22 and uh, change it to 45 actually uh so in the sram cell you will use 40 nanometer hmm? but uh, everywhere else you could use 28 where variations are not important so this is only okay so even i was thinking that only sir i mean uh, that's only limited to uh, to the memory memory cell itself the io and the other things can be done in 20 i mean like below technology lower technology so right. everything is done in the lowest technology whichever technology you are designing in that is what it is we just said that instead of using the minimum length you use a little larger length technology is remain same version of that doesn't change because i i chose a larger length Mm, yes sir okay. are you able to see this ha yes sir uh, i understood uh, i mean i was just uh, thinking of this differentiation between the memory so this this uh, the thing which we increase that's only uh, and the like constraint towards the memory cell itself not not the outer part right so yeah. and again don't limit it to memory cell rational i would say wherever variations are important in analog circuits you will never use minimum length you make an op amp you will never use minimum length why I mean, so we we are supposed to see that all the transistors are in saturation and may no. make the. No, you want to match devices to reduce the offset of an op amp. You have to match the devices. Okay. It is not about <laughs> saturation or anything. It is about that you want to match the devices. Therefore, you do not use minimum length. Does okay. a minimum length device not go into saturation? It also goes into saturation. Yes, sir. But uh, yes, it will go. But the structure would be in such a way that we are supposed to see all the factors that are present you can so, do that with minimum length devices vashnav no problems okay sir yeah you can always do that it is mismatch which bothers you because of which you use larger length devices it is not it is not a a design method specific to srams that is mm. what i am trying to emphasize to you analog people don't talk about it because they simply say okay 100 nanometer length you don't even question them oh we are in 20 nanometer technology why do you use 100 nanometer length have you questioned no no why did you not question because they simply say this is how it works but the reality is you could do everything with 28 nanometer just go and design your folded cascode sense amp uh, op amp with this you could do it with minimum length also the variations will be very high to manage the variations and to have good yield on silicon you say i will use larger length that is why i use 100 nanometer length 
150 nanometer length yes sir yeah okay yeah. so don't assume investigate and find out yes sir i'll do that yeah okay yeah so uh, if there are no more questions we come to today's lecture then hmm? so yes so as you were saying the technology uh, node will remain the same but we are using a bit larger channel length hmm jo channel length hoga wohi to technology node hoga matlab us pe no. difference karenge to iska matlab what you are telling me is that memory cell is getting fabricated in in other technology and uh, on the same die there is a precharge circuit which is getting fabricated in another technology Th that's why i got confused sir ki so, that is what you want to tell me that is what my question is nahi waise i think टेक्नोलॉजी नोड तो वही होगा फिर टेक्नोलॉजी मोड नोड इज डिफाइंड बाय व्हाट इज द मिनिमम लेंथ और व्हाट इज व्हाटएवर द नोड इज देयर इज ऑलवेज अ रेंज ऑफ लेंथ्स दैट यू कैन यूज इन योर डिवाइसेस ओके इट इज नॉट दैट वाज नॉट क्लियर ओके ओके ओह सो यू ऑलवेज अज्यूम दैट फॉर 65 नैनोमीटर टेक्नोलॉजी यू हैव टू यूज 65 नैनोमीटर गेट लेंथ नहीं नहीं हां यस सर आई हैव अंडरस्टूड नाउ यस सर यू ऑलवेज न्यू यू कुड यूज लार्जर लेंथ्स ना यस सर यस सर यस सर एंड द टेक्नोलॉजी रिमेन सेम Yeah. Okay. Yes. Sir. Hmm. Yes, sir. 